So, as we move on to the next uh, uh, heading that is the concepts of low flow anesthesia. Let us see what are the different concepts. So, this can be achieved or this can be discussed under four different headings. The first we need to know what are the principles of low flow and basically the characteristics of the exhaled gases, how important is understanding the co different components and their characteristics of the rebreathing gases. Then different methods are uh, which are used for carbon dioxide absorption. Then what happens exactly when we reduce the flow that see science behind the flow reduction and then finally how to perform what are the different methods available to perform low flow anesthesia. Let us see one by one. So, we know that this is the, uh, the basic schematic representation of our circle absorber. So, we will see what happens during the high flow that is when the fresh gas flow is equivalent or the minute more than the minute volume on one side and the same time when we reduce the minute volume let us see what happens. So, but traditionally we used to administer uh, fresh gas flow which is equivalent or more than the minute volume just uh, more than the minute volume. So, they enter the inspiratory limb through the unidirectional valve then some of them been uptaken as per their physical properties. Then the remaining gas comes back from the lungs into the expiratory limb. So, if the flow is much higher than or equivalent to the minute volume, majority of them are getting vented out. But at the same time, when we reduce the flow, what happens after the uptake, the exhaled gases are rerouted back into the circle absorber. After the carbon dioxide is ab absorbed, it reaches back the inspiratory limb. This gas which is coming from the expiratory limb through the circle absorber or the canister have got different characteristics than the one which is going to be coming from the fresh gas flow. But the volume, the exhaled gases volume are much higher when compared to the fresh gas flow during this time because since this forms the major component what we need to give is much less. This is what is the basic concept of adjustment of the flow. So, basically this is the uh, balance achieving a balance between the volume of the exhaled gases as well as the your fresh gas flow. So, when we say exhaled gases how important is that? For that we need to know the difference between the minute ventilation and fresh gas flow. So, actually the minute ventilation is what we set at the ventilator. Even though even in the low flow anesthetic technique the minute ventilation is not going to be changed because we are going to set the ventilator for an example in this situation if you are going to set the tidal volume of 500 ml and respiratory rate of 12 the patient will be getting a volume of 6000 ml. But what are all the components of this 6000 ml? This is what is determined by the your low flow anesthetic techniques. And fresh gas flow is nothing but what is set at the flow meter. So, in low flow anesthetic technique, in this instance, for an example, if you are setting oxygen 300 ml and nitrous oxide 300 ml, that means your flow is going to be 600 ml. But the patient's minute volume is going to be 6000 ml. Okay. So, in that instance, what is the amount of volume that is going to reach back the inspiratory limb after the absorption of carbon dioxide. So, that is the after the minute volume when it enters the patient's lung when it comes back the whatever is going to be uptaken is going to be uptaken then plus leak the minute ventilation minus the sum of uptake and leak which is what is going to determine your exhaled volume. For an example, if the amount of oxygen that is going to be taken up is 250 ml and nitrous oxide is 100 ml and for the ETCO2 sampling if you say if you do not have method to reintroduce this sampling gas back into the system assuming that the sampling loss is about 150 ml then somewhere around leak of 50 ml the total volume is going to be 550 ml which is going to be taken away from the minute volume. So, 6000 minus 550 is 5450 ml. This is the amount which is going to enter the patient's inspiratory limb again. So, if the minute ventilation is about 6 liters, 
then our fresh gas flow what we are going to set is going to be around 600 ml.